Hello everyone, it's Nicole Steele. It's the Joyful Stamper and it's time for my live stamping class. I jumped on a couple minutes early because I'm gonna set up my laptop here. So let me refresh it so I can see if there are any comments. I have it pulled pretty far away from me because I am limited on space. Um, let me see, okay, there I am. I've got the volume turned down. I remember to turn it down this time, so that's good. Okay, so now I can see comments if anyone is joining me. Um, all right, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Sorry, I feel a little frazzled because I, I had a wonderful, wonderful stamping class this morning at the Swickley Public Library. I had a couple ladies who were returning from last month, and then I had new faces too, and I had such a good time. I really enjoyed myself. So if you live in the Pittsburgh area, I have a stamping class at the Swickley Public Library. It's on the second Tuesday of every month from 10 a.m. to noon, and you're welcome to join. You just need to call the Swickley Public Library to register. I do limit the class size to seven people so that, well, the class just works better that way. When it starts getting more than seven people, it takes too long. You're waiting too long for stuff, but, but this morning we did a lot of die cutting and gabbing, and it just, it was so fun. It was so fun. So, but... Thanks for joining me. I'll introduce myself again. I'm Nicole Steele. I'm the owner of The Joyful Stamper. You can find me at thejoyfulstamper.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I love what I do. This is my full-time job. I love it. It started off as a hobby, and now it's grown into a business for me, and I truly enjoy it. So, But every Tuesday at 2 p.m., I go live right here on my Facebook page, The Joyful Stamper, and I do two project demonstrations. They're usually fairly simple projects because I want you to be able to recreate them yourselves and have success with them. And today I'm going to be using, again, Peaceful Poppies, or Painted Poppies stamp set, but it's called the Peaceful Poppy Suite and it's found in the Stampin' Up! mini catalog. I just can't stop playing with it because it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. We used it in my stamp class this morning and everybody went nuts over it. Nuts. So, but a couple of things. Tuesdays is when Stampin' Up! lets us demonstrators know what is new in the stamping world. And they showed us what the March Paper Pumpkin Kit is going to be. And I have to say, just the box alone makes me go gaga. I'm going to show you the flyer. This is the box right here. Isn't that cute? That is so adorable and fun. Who wouldn't want to? I love those lime green boots. It reminds me of the lemon lime twist color we had. Um, what was it, last year? I think it just retired. But this kit... It's their seventh anniversary. Seven years Paper Pumpkin's been around. So what they're doing for all their subscribers as a thank you is they're throwing in an additional stamp set. And it's a larger stamp set than what normally comes with the kit. So you'll still get the original stamp set that goes with your Paper Pumpkin kit in March. But they're going to put another one in as a gift, as a thank you for being a subscriber. So if you were thinking about signing up or you were on the fence about signing up for Paper Pumpkin... The March kit is the one to do it, and it is going to be note cards, I believe. Yes, kit contains supplies for 12 cards, and I know they're note card sized, and they're a bunch of fun spring colors, so I'm going to update my site, thejoyfulstamper.com. I have a paper pumpkin page on there, and it's going to show you all the colors. It's going to tell you what comes in this kit. You just need to remember to subscribe by March 10th to get this special March kit, and it's celebration. So if you get a prepaid Paper Pumpkin subscription, you get to pick free items from the Celebration catalog. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. So um, the winner, I had two people share my video last week or share this live last week, and I want to say thank you. And whenever you share it, I put your name into a drawing for a prize for the following week's live. So go ahead and click that share button. I really appreciate it. And I'll put your name in a drawing for next week's prize. But this week I drew um, Marianne Rezio's name. And Marianne, I have a pack of handmade cards to give you. And you know, I know you love, you love the beach. So these are all tropical themed just for you. So if you can message me your address, I will get these in the mail to you. So thank you for sharing. 
I appreciate any and all of them. So don't forget to hit that share button and uh, maybe next week you'll be the winner too. So, okay, I'm going to flip the camera around and bear with me. If you get dizzy, shut your eyes. Um, okay. I will let you know when it's okay to open your eyes again. Okay, it's looking like I have it fixed now. So we're good. We're good. If you're watching the replay, thank you too. And you can still share the replay. And just make sure when you share, type shared in the comments. Because Facebook doesn't always show me who shared. So typing shared in the comments lets me know that, um, that you did share it. Okay, I'm looking to see if I'm straight. I think I, I am. I'm sorry, I keep adjusting it. Like I said, I just came back from my stamping class, so I feel a little, like, I don't know. Like, I'm rushing here. <laughs> so, um, another thing I want to show you guys, too, this just came in the mail for me, and it's from my team leader. And if it looks totally ridiculous for a 44-year-old woman to be jumping up and down and screaming in her front yard, well, then I looked totally ridiculous because this of the new um, coordinating products that Stampin' Up! just released in this past week, this is my favorite. Look at these spring colors. And the really cool thing is, there are punches coordinate with this. So the umbrella builder punch in the mini catalog can punch these umbrellas out, the handle and all of that. And there's raindrops. Oh my goodness, I cannot, I think this is gonna be next week's. Facebook Live because I am just gaga over this. Oh, you get three sheets of each pattern. Normally you get two, you but you get three. Oh, wow. That, I love that. You can use our heart punch pack to punch these hearts out. So if you thought those heart punches were done and gone for Valentine's Day, mm -mm. you can pull them back out because you can use them on this heart paper here. Punch those shapes out and look at that. Ooh, that is gorgeous. And then the small blossom punch that is in our celebration brochure or catalog punches these little flowers out. Oh yeah, a rainbow of flowers in these colors. Oh, but the back, look at the back. Wow, wow. And I, can you see that that's like distressed and scruffed up? Oh my gosh, I love this look. I love this look. I can't wait to play with it. And then the Tulip Builder Punch punches these leaves and these tulips out. Yeah, Stampin' Up! was really smart to do this. This gets us so much mileage out of those punches we have. And I have all those punches, all of them. So I will be using this paper. And this has that distress look too. Let me see what the colors are for this. Balmy Blue, Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Petal Pink, Pole Party, and Whisper White. That's a lot, but look at that. That is so spring. If that doesn't say spring, I don't know what does. So I'm going to be using this for next week's Facebook Live Stamping class. So make sure you come back for that, all right? And this is, just so I can be clear, this is not a free celebration item. This is something you buy and it's meant to coordinate with the products we already have. So it was a special unpublished release that you'll find on my website. So, okay. Well, let's get started with the projects because we're here to stamp, right? So this is the first one that I have for you. Yeah, we're going to use the Peaceful Poppies Elements Pack again because I just love it so much. And if you have your catalog, you will find all of this on page 25. I'm going to use the Peaceful Poppy Elements. I'm going to use the Peaceful Poppy Sequins, the Painted Poppies Bundle, and the Designer Series Paper. And if you're looking at this and going, I love all of it and I want it all, there is an I want it all button. It's this item number up here. So you punch in that item number and you get all of this. So no, you don't have to, you know, type in like six, seven numbers. Just type in that one number. It's the I want it all button. And I wanted it all. So I got it all. So we're going to work with that again today. This has been Stampin' Up's number one seller for um, the mini catalog. So I am starting with a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of Rich Razzleberry cardstock. 
and I scored it in half at five and a half inches. And as always, I have a project sheet with the supplies and measurements on my blog, thejoyfulstamper.com. It's there now. You can download it, print it, save it, pin it, whatever you want to do. And when I'm done with this, I also upload this video to my blog and to YouTube, and I put the measurements in there too. So the project sheet's meant to help you. So if you want to recreate it, it's all there for you to do so. so okay, we're going to start with a Versamark ink pad, and I'm going to use the splatter stamp from the Painted Poppy set. This, this is the image right here. And I'm going to stamp it in Versamark ink on my Rich Razzleberry cardstock. Now, you might think because Versamark's clear, you're not going to be able to see it, but that's not the case. Versamark is a very versatile, very useful ink pad because not only do we use it when we want to heat emboss, but you can use it to create a very subtle tone on tone effect when you stamp it on cardstock. So I am just going around the edges of this with this splatter stamp and some Versamark ink. And you know, I feel like I've been stamping all day and that is just fine with me because I love it. So, okay, can you see that? It's really subtle. Now, if you have any questions or comments, just type them in because that's the beauty of these lives. That's what the fun of it is, is we can interact with each other. So that just gives a nice, subtle background. I tested it with Rich Razzleberry ink on this cardstock, and it was way a lot darker than I wanted it to be. So I skipped it. Now I'm taking a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock, and I'm going to tear down one edge. This technique is an oldie but goodie. I love just that little bit of interest that it adds to this, to a project. Just tearing the cardstock. That's it. And you can't mess it up. Not that there's stamping police or any stamping rules either, but when you can confidently do something and know that it's going to go okay, why not? And paper tearing would be one of those techniques for sure. So I glued that to my card base. Now I have a piece of Peaceful Poppies designer series paper and if you don't have this you need to get you some. It is watercolored gorgeousness. Again one of the most popular sellers in the mini catalog by far. By far and with good reason. I'm almost out of my pack. Now you'll see there's a pattern on the other side too but I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one today. And I duck cut two pieces from Mossy Meadow cardstock using the painted labels dies. Those dies coordinate with the piece, the Painted Poppy stamp set. And if you buy them both together, Stampin' Up! will give you a 10% discount on that purchase. You can buy the stamp set separate, or you can buy the dies separate, or you can buy them together and save yourself 10%. So I just ran a line of snail along one, the, one of the long edges of this, and I am going to adhere this gorgeous scalloped border there. And you don't have to worry about lining it up perfectly because it's going to look fine no matter what. Now I'm going to take my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to add it to my card base here. And I'm just going to go right along the edge there. I want to leave a little bit of this rich Razzleberry cardstock sticking out. Whew. I am so hungry right now. I don't know about you, but I find that hunger makes my mind sharper and my thinking clearer. So hopefully that means a good stamping session, right? This die cut piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock is also from the Painted Labels die set that coordinates with the um, Painted or piece, painted Poppies stamp sets right here. I'm using the large label right there, and that's the scalloped border piece that I just used. So I'm going to adhere that down also with multi-purpose liquid glue. Now, do you guys eat that We Yo Play yogurt? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's really good, first of all. Really, really good. But if you soak the jars, you can get the labels off. And I use them to hold all kinds of stuff. I keep my Tombow glues in there upside down so that whenever I go to pull them out to use them, the glue's sitting at the tip there. So don't throw those jars out or start buying We Yo Play yogurt if you don't already do so just to get the jars. I have like 10 of them 
and I have some ideas for them. Now, I'm going to use a sentiment from the Sending You Thoughts free celebration set. This is a level one item, so if you spend $50 or your order is $50, you can choose this for free if you want. And I've been reaching for it over and over again because I find it has a good mix of everything. Get well, happy birthday, um, thank you, congratulations. I mean, it, it covers a lot. And I'm going to use Poppy Parade ink to stamp. This also is another die cut from the Painted Labels die set. And this time I did it, I cut it out in Whisper White. And there's a nice stitching around the circle that highlights whatever you're gonna put in the middle there. Now I'm gonna stamp this more towards the bottom because I'm gonna put some pieces above it and I don't want it covered. So that was in Poppy Parade ink. And I'm gonna glue that right there with multi-purpose glue and just a little dab which I'm getting to the end of my bottle here I think a little dab will work because we don't want it oozing out everywhere so it was a really good stamping week here in my crafting dungeon it was raining outside and that always means a really good stamp session for me so okay Got that glued down. Now, I punched out a piece from the Peaceful Poppies Elements pack. My pack's almost gone, but you get these really pretty um, colored pieces, and there's some black embossed pieces, some vellum that you can color, some vellum pieces you can color, and watercolored ones, which they already have patterns embossed on them, so they're made to resist the ink. And I made a car up. A gorgeous card if I do say so myself using these watercolor pieces and I made a tutorial for it and if you subscribe to my newsletter and the sign up form is right here on my Facebook page or you can go to my blog the joyful stamper.com and sign up I will send you the tutorial for that I'm not gonna publish it anywhere else it is only going to be to my news newsletter subscribers because I want to thank you for subscribing with me so, okay, so I'm going to add some dimensionals, and it appears I have put tucked away my regular sized ones from my stamping class. I don't know what I did with them, so we're going to use mini ones. They'll work just fine. I'll just have to put a few more on than normal. But I punched out one of the Peaceful Poppies elements, and it's as simple as that, just punching it out of the paper. It's already perforated for you, but you don't even see the perforation marks. They're die cut, so taking that out. Put some dimensionals on it and I'm just gonna stick it right there right it's so easy and then I'm gonna add a bow now I have a confession to make I ran out of the whisper white crinkled seam binding ribbon that is part of this painted or peaceful poppy suite however I did have a spool of whisper white seam binding ribbon from many many years ago that I'm going to use as a substitute it's wider than the crinkled seam binding ribbon um, but it it will work. It's Whisper White. And the crinkled seam binding is available from Stampin' Up. I just happened to run out of it and didn't get any more ordered in time. So that's why I'm going to use this. But it makes a good substitute for now. Um, but the crinkled seam binding ribbon is a little bit skinnier and it's crumpled. Crinkled. It's crinkled. I'm getting my words mixed up here. Okay. This card's not done. We're gonna use some of these Peaceful Poppy sequins. Okay, how many times can I say Peaceful or Painted Poppies in this Facebook Live video? If you're a drinker, which I am not, I don't like alcohol, but if you were, you could play a drinking game to how many times I'm saying this. Am I, am I right? But please don't. <laughs> Stay sober when you're stamping. <laughs> so, I'm gonna use some fine tip glue to drop a few sequins on here and there and put another one right there and I'm gonna tap that on and I'll put let's see I'll put another one there can you ever have too many sequins on your card do you think is there a limit I just mailed off a package today to my daughter who is at college it was for Valentine's Day and I made her a Valentine's Day shaker card and I filled it with sequins and those faceted gems, those pink and red ones from 
the From My Heart Sweet. I had a little bit left and I thought, I'm just gonna pour them all in. So I made her a shaker card and I used the heart punch as the frame for the shaker. If you wanna know how to make a shaker card, check out my Facebook Live from last week. February, what was it, 4th, um, I made a shaker card using the Daisy Punch and the Daisy Lane stamp set. It was super easy and it was super cute. Hi, Amy Lynn. <laughs> How are you, em or Amy? <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Calling everybody by their full name today. So that is card number one. Voila. I'm going to move on to card number two. All right, I'll set that one aside and let's pull it out. It is this one right here. Okay, also using the Peaceful Poppies Sweet. Lots of stuff going on here, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put this together. I have all my pieces ready to go, ready to go. That's the trick I think to these lives. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Is to be prepared, right? And hope you don't lose anything while you're on camera. Yeah, that's a challenge. So this is what we're making. We're going to start with a five and a half by eight and a half piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock, and I scored it right down the middle at four and a quarter. So I'm going to fold that up, and it's going to be a side fold card. So we're going to have it go that way. And we are again using that beautiful, peaceful poppies designer series paper. I am loving this stuff. I'm going to show you a trick though. Nobody likes to waste their pattern paper. It's too pretty, okay? But we also are not hoarding it, remember. Well, see this die cut piece right here? That's the same swirl shape I used on the previous card from the painted labels dies. Because I know this middle part of this piece is going to be covered, I die cut this piece straight from the middle of that paper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down and this is gonna go on top of it and it's gonna cover it and no one's gonna know. So that's how you can save yourself some paper, get more mileage out of it and really stretch it and use it to its max. So, all right, let's add some multi-purpose liquid glue to this piece. I really like this side too. We used it in my Swickley Library stamping class this morning. Okay, and adhere that down. And then we're gonna take this piece and glue it. And that is a Blackberry Bliss watercolor wash. Can you see how it's like faded up there and then it gets darker? I love that look. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, we've got that on there. And now we are gonna take a piece of this black scalloped embossed border, and that is from the Peaceful Poppies Elements pack I showed you. So on the previous card, I used one of these printed pieces. On this card, I'm gonna use one of the black scalloped pieces. And I'm gonna glue that down with multi-purpose liquid glue. And I really think I should just get a new bottle, open up a new bottle, because this one has had it. It is empty. So, okay. I'm going to lay that down just so. No need to be perfect. All right. Next up, what comes next? This piece. I'm going to use dimensionals for that. I want some height to this. So, again, I would be using the larger sized dimensionals, but I can't find them. I didn't have much time to unpack from my class this morning because we were talking, so we stayed a little bit late but it was fun. All right, and don't cut your nails right before you do this because you will not be able to grab the little liner paper. All right, and I'm going to just go ahead and stick this on just like that. All right, and next I'm going to stamp this poppy from See, I already misplaced the stamp set. Good thing I got my stamps out ahead of time. Here they are. I'm gonna use this image right here, the smaller poppy, and I'm gonna stamp it in Memento Tuxedo Black on a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. Now, I put two of these on my card. You can see there. I already stamped and die cut these out ahead of time, but I'm just gonna show you. That's what I did. And 
I took the painted labels dies, which is the same die set that this piece comes from, and I die cut these out. I ran them through my die cut machine and it just cuts them right out. You could use a pair of paper snips and trim these if you like too. You don't need to have the dies. You don't need to have a die cutting machine. Good old pair of scissors, paper snips will do you just fine. But I have the dies because I hit the oh, I want it all button, so I got them. Now the leaves on my card. I took a piece, a leftover scrap of paper from the Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper, and I stamped my leaves on that, and I did that in, actually, I don't think I did it in black ink, did I? Yes, I did. I did it in the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And what I really liked about this, stamping it on this Designer Series paper rather than just straight up cardstock, is you get all that watercolored, varied tones and shades in the leaf itself. So I really liked that look. And I went ahead and die cut three of those out also. So you see how they're different shades of green, but it all came from that one piece of designer series paper. So, and that's the back side. Okay, so we have that. And before I get those on, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. So I took a piece of basic black cardstock, just a scrap, and I'm gonna use an embossing buddy. Now, if you're new to stamping, new to embossing, and you're wondering what is this thing that looks like a little pillow for a dollhouse? It's filled with, I don't know what actually, cornstarch I think, and you rub it on your cardstock, and what that does is it takes all the static away, and kind of, um, if there's oils on there from your fingers, it uh, makes it not sticky anymore. And that way, when you sprinkle on your embossing powder, it doesn't stick where you don't want it to stick. So this little greeting I'm using is from the Itty Bitty Greeting stamp set. And if you are looking for a set that covers every occasion you can think of, this is the stamp set to get. 32 greetings in here, and they really are itty bitty. They're cute. They're cute. This one says, hope you're feeling better. My original card is a thank you card. It says, with gratitude. So I'm going to stamp, hope you're feeling better on here just about right there and you're not gonna be able to see it because I'm using Versamark ink and this is another use on the first card we used Versamark ink to create a nice subtle background on our card now we're gonna use it to heat emboss because Versamark ink stays sticky so we get that gives us time to sprinkle this embossing powder on and I'm using white Stampin embossing powder now I'm gonna turn my heat gun on it's gonna get a little noisy I have to let it heat up for about 15 seconds maybe so that it'll be nice and hot and then when I point it at the paper it'll melt that powder so instead of it being granular it's gonna be nice smooth shiny and melted and I can see it going now there we go all right now I need to find my scissors there we go there's my paper snips because I'm gonna trim this down I don't want it quite that big so I'm just going to give it a little trim, just like that. And I'm leaving a little bit on the edge over here, the left side, so that I can tuck it. If you've read my blog or looked at my projects enough, you will know that I love tucking and layering things. I just like being able to do perfect placement with stuff like that and things overlapping and just all kinds of really cute things. So, okay using my Stampin' Dimensionals again. I have to find a new sheet. And I will put a few of those on. And the reason I'm using them on these flowers is because I wanna be able to tuck these leaves behind them. And lifting these up a little bit off of my card base gives me the room I need to slide those leaves underneath. So, okay, cause you can see they're a little bit, they have some volume to them, they're Stampin' Dimensionals. All right, I'm gonna put that one there and peel the lining off of this one. These dimensionals are sticky on both sides and I'm gonna put that one there. Then I am going to add a few more onto here, onto these leaves. I'm just putting one on each. I think that's enough. It'll hold. I mean, it's a card. It's, hi Mike. It's a card. It's not like anybody's going to be I don't know, tossing it around like a football or kicking it around, or at least I hope not. 
So I don't think we need super human strength on this. Okay, we're just gonna tuck these around there like this. And our greeting is gonna get glued right there. And I'm not using a dimensional. I'm gonna use liquid glue on that one. I don't need any lift on that. Okay, and I'm just gonna stick that right there. But still, I am not done. I'm bringing those sequins back out again because I wanna make this shine. And I'm gonna use my fine tip glue and we're gonna start loading them on here. Don't be shy with those sequins. You get 750, I think they said, in this container. Yeah, I sat here and counted them just for you, so I can confidently say there are 750 in there. No, I didn't. I didn't count them. But it's a lot. It's a lot. So you can add them to your card one by one. You can make a shaker card, like I said, with them. You can share them with your friends. Have a little stamping party at your house. You come over and make cards. Always a good time. Okay. Should I add some more? One, two, three. Yes, we should add some more. More is more when you're making a card. Always remember that. That's my golden stamping roll. Oh, I need another one. I need one right up there. And I think I want it to be gold. But can I pick it out specifically from this container? Yes, I can. All right. Let's use my paper snips. To take it. Oh, my goodness. I am loving this one. And you know, my grandma's in the hospital right now, so I can give her this card. I think she would like it. All right, so let me bring my other card in. So these are the cards I made for this week's Facebook Live Happy Half Hour Stamping Class featuring the Peaceful Poppy Suite found in the mini catalog. Stampin' Up, page 25. Now, as always, if you place a minimum $35 order with me, Nicole Steele, by this Friday at midnight, and that would be before shipping and tax, use this reward code right here. That will let me know you want the project kits to make one of each of these cards. I will send them to you for free. So all you have to do is go to shop with shopwithnicole.stampinup.net place a $35 or more order, use this code, and I'll know you want these kits, and I will send them to you. Um, what else am I going to say? Share the video, please. I so, so appreciate that, and I'll put your name in a drawing for a prize for next week, and I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. Remember, celebration's going on, so if you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick something free from the celebration catalog. So, oh, thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Everybody's got their special gifts, right? So, but thank you. That's very kind of you to say that. I love doing this. So, I hope you enjoyed the show today, whether you're watching it live or on the replay, and I will be back next Tuesday to play with that new paper I got that I showed at the beginning of this video. So, okay guys, don't forget to check out my blog, thejoyfulstamper.com, and it is Nicole Steele, the Joyful Stamper, saying goodbye. Have a blessed Tuesday.